Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening to all of you. And I will set in order to start today. So I hope that you be in the same way. Okay, hey, let us see what we have to do for today. Okay, we are ready to start now. So let us wait a little bit for the rest of classmates. Just tell me how is the weather in your area?
Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. How do you feel today? I am um, sink. Okay, you feel kind of sick? Yes. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> Try to look for some medicine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Welcome, uh, Jonathan. Erwin is driving, I guess. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I am driving too. I, I, I can see, I can see that you are driving now. Be careful. Okay, thank you. Be careful, sir. Hello, Janet. How are you? Hi, teacher. I remember in the previous in the previous module I gave you a list of irregular pair. Do you remember that? Do you still keep it with you? No? Or you don't remember? Hola, hola, hola. Welcome, welcome. Okay, um, we are going to start now. Let me check up the attendance. Teacher, solo le aviso que estaré de oyente, pero voy a tratar la manera de participar en lo que pueda, porque si me duele un poquito la garganta. Okay, perfecto. Thank you.
Okay. Okay, uh, we are going to start with an activity. Let me show you first, right here. My topic for today, welcome back to all of you. It is a pleasure to see you again. This is section number eight, and we are going to talk about the simple past the statement and yes, no questions. So in order to start talking about this new topic, we are going to enroll in an exercise that is going to help us. Okay, you got it there. Just click on it and start solving the exercise, please. If someone of you uh, have problem in order to open it, just let me know, please. I open in teacher the, okay, the link. Okay, the interaction is on top. Read the interaction, please.
As soon as you finish, let me know, please. Finish t shirt. Okay, thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Okay. of the rest of the class. Did you finish?
Not yet. I finished it. Okay. I finished it. Okay, thank you. I'm still waiting for the rest of the class. Okay, I guess all of you finished. Uh, let us continue then. I don't know if, if you have a, any trouble in order to resolve it. And also, I already sent again uh, the irregular verse where you can find present, uh, simple past, and past participle. I don't know if you got it. Roxana, we were resolving an exercise related with uh, simple past. Was where? I don't know if you open it. <clears throat> Okay, before we continue, uh, let me check out the attendance. Let me do it now because later on I'm going to forget, forget it. Did you do download uh, the list that I sent you? Don't let it turn out. Yes, tell. Me. Hola, descargaron la lista de verbos que les envié. No, teacher, todavía no está listo. No yet. Okay, you got it there in the in the chat. In soon. Yes, teacher, I have. Okay, yes, uh, keep it with you and going to help you at last. They are irregular. And today we are going also to talk about regular verbs, specifically in uh, the simple past part of STEM. As you can see, our topic has to do with that. We need to study how we are going to deal with this situation. So uh, I remember uh, previous, in the previous module, I shared some ideas how to pronounce the regular verb in the simple past way when we add e e. But let us continue and later on we are going to talk about okay. Um let 
Okay, this is the question that we have for today. Let's start. What is networking? Are you good at networking in business events? This is that, that that is the first question. And the second one, do you often share business cards when you network? Let us see the third question. What is networking? Okay, tell me. I know that maybe some of you are expert in that field. Okay, tell me, what is networking? I know you've got the answer for this question. What is networking? Tell me. Uh, it could be the ability to create a relationship with friends or another people. Okay, good idea. Thank you. Someone else? What is networking? Just give me your concept about that. We are talking only about the first question now. So just, just let me know what do you think about? What is networking, networking? Come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. Just give me an answer, please. Hello, hello. Creación de redes, teacher. In Spanish, but in English, tell me in English, what is networking? Please. I know that you got the answer, but just share it with the rest of the class. Remember, you need to have a dictionary with you in order that you can look for some term. Hello? I got a question for all of you. What is networking? Are you good at networking in business event? Tell me. Okay, you can goggle it too. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, I, I would like to see your faces because uh, I, I'm still waiting for an answer to this question. Just tell me your, your ideas and there we are going to go deeper. In, in the console. But share your ideas with the rest of the class, please. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. I don't know why. Hello, sir. <clears throat> Networking often begins 
win simple point. Uh, new idea in a profession in my in my special interest t-shirt. Okay. Teacher, I I can understand the question. You can't. You can, I can't. Okay, 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 I got you. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is just to to know what is networking. It, this word is, is the key word right here. Try to look for this word, networking. What is KS? KS networking. Is it very teacher? Fun? Okay, tell me. I am I am found a concept. Oh, networking. Okay. Networking is about in interacting and engaging with people for mutual benefit, teacher. Uh, okay, mutual benefit. Okay. Uh, well, there are a lot of examples related with networking, but uh, I'm still waiting that you tell me. You can look for the, the, the this word networking in an isolated way, and then you are going to get an idea about it. Working, trabajando, teacher, pero net, eh, agregándole el net, tiene que cambiar la palabra y no, no sé. Okay, and what is the meaning of the word net? Dictionary, dictionary. Eh, Sería entonces red de trabajo. ¿Qué es red de trabajo? Eso sería como la traducción literal. But I told you there are a lot of examples related with networking. If you want to buy something, you look in the web. You look in Facebook, you look in Twitter, you look in Instagram. Okay. Now tell me. But it's networking. I'm Mr. Wedding, I'm Mr. Wedding. Uh, I think that our contacts uh, with, 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 our uh, job, uh, for example, customers, uh, suppliers. Hey, some ideas, some ideas. When we talk about networking, we talk about uh, the exchange of information and ideas among people with a common professional or special interest, usually an informal social setting, you know? 
if you want to buy a car, not new one, you can look in your Facebook and there you are going to find out a lot of information related with cars. That is, we call networking, you know? I don't know if you got my example. At the end, tell me your function about network. What, what is But in English, not in Spanish. Tell me, please. En español, teacher. Hola. En español. Mm, good. Uh, must be in English because our, uh, our class is in English. Uh, uh, try to say in that way and later on we are going to switch into English. In uh, and the rest can understand exactly. For example, uh, we have LinkedIn. It's a network for professionals. Okay, okay. And there we share information uh, that we have the same interest, right? Maybe to look a better position in a job, uh, maybe get information in other, uh, about seminars or something like that. That is networking, networking. Okay, what else? What else? And what about the second question? Are you good at networking in business event? Just let me know, please. This term networking is, is very common nowadays. So I need that you understand what we are talking about. I already shared a concept with you related with this word. So tell me, but we need to hurry up because we have to do a lot of things today. Okay, tell me, tell me, please. Well, I'm going to stop. I need to check up uh, the attendance. Necesito que siempre me recuerden de la asistencia, por favor. So, uh, try to remember me about the, the attendance. Because when I start talking about a topic, I forget it, you know. As soon as I start talking about on a specific topic, Okay, America, Elizabeth, are you here? Are you there? Are you there? America, no? Okay, um, Carlos Amilcar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Cecilia. Present. Maribel, okay, thank you. Edwin Alexis. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin, thank you. Edwin Alfredo. Edwin Alfredo.
here. Esmeralda. Esmeralda. It's not here. Gabriela Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Gabi. Uh, Gisela Guadalupe. Gisela Guadalupe Martinez. Say hello, please. Say hello. Okay, I'm going to continue then. Hector Enrique. Hector Enrique. Now here. Ingrid Geraldina. Present. Okay. Jonathan. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jose Ernesto Aleman. I guess he wrote something in the chat. I'm going to check up later on. Okay, let me see where we are. Jonathan Stanley. Present teacher. Okay, he's there. Um, Jose Ernesto Aleman, I already said that he wrote something in the chat. Catherine Paola. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Natalie Sanchez. Natalie. Not here. Mauricio Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Mercedes Alejandra. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay. Sara Alejandra. Sara. Sergio Adolfo. Present teacher. Okay. Janet del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Yesenia Lisset. Okay, thank you. Okay, let us go back to the questions and I need to give me an answer. Remember that you need to look words in a dictionary if you don't get the meaning. So if I ask you again this question, what is networking? What can you tell me about? Just give me an answer about that. What is networking? Just tell me. And the last question said, do you often share business card when you network? Okay, it is really, really important that you understand these three questions. So I invite you to answer each one, please. Hello. Are you there? 
Uh, I haven't assisted to business events yet, but but uh, I think that it's important to to do networking uh, in that events because we can share information with with another people and uh, that benefits cannot benefit you. Okay. And what about the second question? Are you good at networking in business event? What do you think about that? And also about the last one. Do you often share business card when you network? Just come, please. Okay, later on, I'm going to, to give you some information related with this. Okay, let us continue then. As you can see here, we have a different word related with networking. What can you see? Somebody wants to read it? All these words are connected with this, uh, with this one, with the big one. Okay, tell me. What can you see there? Just read. Marketing, ah. efficiency, okay. efficiency, informal, natural, meeting, internet, support, jobs, opportunities, community, okay. relationships, people, business, common. Connect online in success. Okay, that's it. All these were connected with the word networking, you know, success. We have planning, efficiency, informal, interest, online, connect. Colleagues, marketing, uh, mutual meeting, internet, relationship, job support, professional, contact people, opportunities, and community. All those were had to do with networking. So now you already know what is networking. Okay, we are going to listen to this conversation. Listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner, okay? The conversation is between Luis and Janet. Did you enjoy the, the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I have updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small to a smart talk, right? So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay. Try to read it by yourself. And later on, we are going to practice. So try to do it now, please. Okay, questions about the conversation? Richard, no puedo volver a leer, please. Yes, I can, I can do it. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small 
to a smart talk, right? So, do you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I, I, I exchanged business card with 10 people. Always done. Okay. Pronunciation the last. Awesome. 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 Okay. Teacher, pronunciation the session. Head session. En la última línea de Janet. Right here? Yes. Exchange. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Okay. Remember that uh, English is a relic. Uh, special in this case for example i can say it, uh how can somebody read it como lo leería alguien sin saber que la id se pronuncia de tres diferentes maneras let me see if i can find another one here okay for example learn it somebody say i learn it a lot and it's not correct. I learn a lot. El ED se, se evita en ese caso. Okay, the situation is this. At the moment that we are going to produce the sound of ED ending in a verb, in order to show that the verb is in simple past, we need to take into account three different rules. Because the ED ending of irregular or regular verb, we can pronounce it in three different ways. And also, when we use the word, the auxiliary did, we are talking about uh, the simple past. Teacher, no entendí. Entonces, el ID suena, se, se, se pronuncia o, o no? Okay, en español, en español. El ED en los verbos regulares tiene tres diferentes formas de cómo pronunciarse. ¿Ya? Ok. I'm going to give you some tips in order that you can uh, practice this conversation. Let me see if I can do it now before you, you practice. Ok. Ok, I got it. Pronunciation of ED. Pronunciation of ED. Okay, when we have regular past tense verb, they typically end in ed. There are three different sounds for ed. Okay, ahí tenemos. Take a look at that. There are three different sounds for ed. Hay tres diferentes sonidos para el ed. And we have the power. Picked, listen, picked, picked, right, right, started, started, started. Okay, can, can you notice the difference? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, then what we need to do is just to Take a look at the uh, other rules. But how do you know which sound a word makes? You know, this is the question. Okay, let us start talking about this one. The final sound, T. 
fair and then in voiceless sounds voiceless no tienen vibración like p k f s and t cause the ed ending to be pronounced as the voiceless t with no vocal for five reactions Okay. In this case, for example, we say he packed. He packed. He packs a balloon. They talked. They talked a lot. They talked a lot. I laugh at the movie. She kissed her child. People say goodbye, you know. Uh, we brush. We brush our teeth. I reach. the end of the road. Okay, can, can you notice that? And I got all these sounds at the end right here. You need to learn by heart this letter and that way you are going to keep it in mind. Okay, questions related with this? This is very important that you keep in mind the way that you are going to produce the sound when it is ED ending. Talking about a real bear is uh, easier because you got the list and you learn it by heart and, and in that way you are going to produce. Hey, teacher, what is the difference between Determination SH y CH. Ah, that is, uh, you are talking about this one, right? Sí, sí. Las, the last two sentences. And this one? Yes. Okay, I, I got some symbol right here. All the words that end in this sound, including sh and ch, they are going to add a t ending sound. Cuando el verbo termine su ed y antes de el ed se encuentre con la letra p. El sonido va a ser T. And the same happened with this letter. This one, this one. This one and this one too. The situation is that I'm, I'm going to look for a, a, a different way how to explain it because I don't want to do it in Spanish because it's part of the... the agreement that we have that we are going to explain in English everything. So uh, I'm trying to look for the better way to explain it. And that is the reason why we have this arm little line right here. He, he, pop, he pops, he pops up a balloon, for example. But remember, these are voiceless sound. P, K, F, S, Ch, and Ch. Okay, as soon as you, you listen or see a verb, a regular verb ending in one of these letters, that means that you are going to add the T sounds. Or what about if they end in, in, in a different one? ¿Qué sucede si ellos terminan en una diferente? 
Okay, let me see. Okay, uh, D final sound. Verse ending in the voice uh, sounds like B, G, B, Z, Z, D, M, N, N, R, L. Cause the E, D ending to be pronounced as a voice sound. Like letter D. She grabbed. He back. They low. He raised. They manage. She claim. They bend. She bend. The waitress uh, cleared. Cleared. The table. I rolled up the papers. So right here, when we talk about voice sound, we can find B, G, B, D, D, M, N, N, R, L. We need to keep in mind all these ending, and that way we are going to apply it in the right way. And the next one say I D final sound. Bears ending in the sound T or D will cause that E D ending of bear to be pronounced as the syllable at or E. For example, I visited I visited the Empire State Building. She admitted the report. Admitted the report. We ended the game early. Ended. No, vamos a decir ended. No, ended. The ship raid raided. The chicken. Red the chicken. You know? Okay, right here, as soon as you see a verb, a regular verb that ends in T for D, you are going to pronounce like E, D in that way. Okay, question, question, question. Pregunta, preguntas, preguntas. Ok, ¿cuándo voy a pronunciar eh, el sonido ED? ¿Cuándo? Tell me. Teacher, ¿será cuando están en pasado el verbo? Ok, cuando está en pasado y los verbos son verbos. Regular. Irregular. Irregular. Regular or irregular. Irregular, teacher. Or, espera, me quiero ver de acuerdo a lo que mandó. ¿Cuáles son los que terminan en, en, en ED? ¿Regulares o irregulares? Regulares, teacher. Irregular. Ok, irregular. Yes, regulares. Sí, porque los que mandó son irregulares. Okay, right here, visit, visit, it. I did it, and did, and read it, read it. Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, what happened when the word finish and why? Finish in? Why? Uh, for example, cry. Why? We got it right here. Let me see where, where we have. And then second, let me see. For example, play, the verb play. It's gonna sound like uh, like B, like B sounds. B 
because it's a it's like a consonant sounds, you know. And they are considered as a voice. I got more example and, and and it's going to clarify your your questions because well we got we we got uh, one right here for example. Let me see. No, 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 no. I don't have one right here. But uh when the sound is like a vowel, we are going to uh produce it like D, you know. Let me see if I got some example here. No, hold on a second. I'm going to give you hold on. I got something here that I can show you. One second, please. Hold up a little bit. Okay, I got it. I'm going to show you right now. And it's, it is really good, your question. Okay, I got here. I'm going to show you the, and I'm going to point you the same uh, as I told you. Use the verb base, and in all other sounds which are voiced, for example, we got the uh, letter L, hold, hold, phone, phone, leave, lead. And right here is the one that I told you. The verb is play, is played, played. And we got this one, this try, the right way is not this one, it's in this way. This is stray. As you can see here, as I told you, como pudo ver acá, como ya le había explicado, En este caso, cuando terminan en un sonido eh, que es vocálico, agregan el sonido de al final. Play, 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 play. I don't know if you if you can hear it in, in the right way. Just let me know this because I need to clarify your your question. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, eso es lo que había mencionado. And also, uh, uh, I'm going to let you make a screenshot about this. Ahorita mismo pueden hacer como una captura de los grupos eh, que son pronunciados, por ejemplo, con sonido T. Todos los verbos terminados en estos sonidos son los que van a agregar sonido T. Por ejemplo, stop, stop, walk, walk. Listen, the different. Walk, walk, laugh, laughed, pass, cast, wash, washed, watch, watch. Okay, we, we need to be careful about it in order that to produce the, the right sounds. Teacher, de los últimos dos, casi lo mismo es la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Talking about this one, this is wash, and the other is watch, watch, 
Y, y este es wash. And this one is watch. But both of them, S, H, and C, H, we are going to add T at the end. Is that, is, is that okay? Any questions so far from here? Hola, hola. And we also talk about uh, letter T and the one wanted, need, needed. Todos los verbos regulares mm -hmm. que terminen en T o D, al agregar ED, se van a pronunciar como ED. Wanted, needed. ¿Sí? No va a decir wanted, no. Wanted. Dice not. If it is the last sound, that is important. Not the letter of the spelling. Es el sonido el que nos interesa, no el deletreo. Mire aquí, por ejemplo, dice complete. Ahí no suena la E. Complete it. Complete it. Complete it. Ok. Questions? No? Hola, hola. Tell me. Hello. Okay, ask me a question, please. If you don't understand something, just let me know. And I'm going to give you a hand. Ok, eso es referente a sonidos de verbos regulares. Ok, let me, let me see if I'm looking for something here. Okay, let's see if you got my message. We are going to have a kind of quiz in order to be sure that you understand what I'm saying. Okay, this is a pronunciation quiz. Okay, what about this one? According to uh, the information that I share with you, which one do you consider is the right pronunciation? Or now, produce the sound and then tell me. T D O I O E D. Just tell me. Pronuncie la palabra y luego usted me dice cómo es la terminación. Si es T, D o E, D. De acuerdo a las reglas que ya compartí. Tell me. Hola, hola. Es Mark, teacher. Okay, just tell me T B E D. T. Okay, let us find out if it is T or D. Okay, nice. It's Matt. It's Matt. Por qué? Por qué? ¿Cómo hizo para saber que era sonido T? I think Marie teacher. No, okay. <laughs> hay, hay, hay una clave aquí. Aquí no podemos jugar a Walter Mercado, le cuento. Ahí previamente yo les mostré a ustedes una lista de palabras, de perdón, de letras. Es por la terminación del verbo, dicho. Ok, ahí lo tienes. Smack. That's correct. Si el sonido termina en una letra K, cuando agregue ED, no va a decir smack it, sino que va a sonar. Ese ED se convierte en sonido T. Smack. Sí me están comprendiendo, ¿cierto? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. okay. Okay, let us see another example. Veamos otro ejemplo. Mira, y nos hemos saltado en la conversación para ver esto. Okay, what about this? Produce the sound and tell me. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is just to take a look of the word that is previous. Oh, ED. Sergio. Tell me, Sergio. And the pronunciation is landed. Ah, okay. Why is landed? Uh, uh, why? Because the verb finish uh, letter D. Okay. The ending is going to be ED, right? Landed. Okay, let us find out. Okay, it's correct. Landed. Okay, alguien tiene dudas en lo que vamos haciendo, por favor me va preguntando. No debería decirlo en español, pero lo hago para asegurarme de que de que sí me están comprendiendo que les estoy dando la oportunidad de poder aclararlas. Watch out. Okay, none. I'm going to continue. Okay, what about that? D, D, E, D. Teacher, será informe? In? No, espérame, espérame. Quiero ver bien. Sí, informe. Which one? T, D, E, D. Mm. In order to produce the sound, the ED, um, only we have two different sounds letter. Para que se haga ED, solo hay dos sonidos de dos letras. Mm. Y ya las vimos. ¿Cuáles son? La. Espérame, espérame, estoy viendo lo de las reglas. Remember that I told you to take a screenshot. Les dije, hagan una captura. Sí, teacher, yo aquí las tengo, eso es lo que estoy, lo que estoy viendo ahorita. Ah, okay, then what you are going to focus your attention is going to be in this part. Let me tell you this. Inform. Si produzco el sonido... Mire, hasta ahí sería la terminación. Inform. En la lista que tiene, ¿dónde aparece la M? ¿En los voice o en los voiceless? Tell me. Or somebody else can help her. So, hello, are you there? Teacher, yo lo estoy buscando y no lo encuentro en las que capture, no me sale ningún, no sé si no capture donde salía la M. Okay, let me, I'm going to stop, I'm going to share again. Voy a compartir una vez más para que se dé cuenta dónde está esta letra. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, in my presentation, I show you this. Mm. 
before someone asks me about the letter Y, I show you this. When I say beat the uh, final sounds, you can see the sound of the letter right here. Okay, uh, taking a screenshot about this one. Hagan una captura referente a esta, por favor. Y la comparten. We got it right here. Bear sending in the voice sound. B, G, B, G, G, M, N, N, R, L, Cos. The, the ending to be pronounced as a voice like a letter D. Ahí está. And the previous one is this one. Y la anterior que sería esta. P K F S. Stench. Esos serían sonidos. Okay, ya tiene, ya tienen las dos capturas? Yes or not? Yes. Okay, let, let us stop sharing and let us go back to our uh, conversation. Okay. Uh, before to practice this conversation, just tell me, according to the rule, how are you going to produce the sound of this verb? ¿Cómo pronunciaría este verbo usted? Ahora sabiendo ya las reglas. No me va a decir learn it. No. How you are going to tell me? Hola. Teacher será learn with P, B, O, E, D at the end. P. Letter D. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, you got you got all the info there. What about the next one? I, I, date. Uh, how you are going to, to pronounce it? ¿Cómo pronunciaría update? Si antes de le tengo una letra T, un sonido T, ¿cómo sería la pronunciación? Come on, you can do it. With, with ID. Okay. Update it, update it, update it. Okay. Okay, let us, uh, well, we have another one right here. What about this one? Exchange. T O D. T O D. tell me. Which one? Letter D. Letter? D. T. No, D. D? Yes. Okay. Is letter letter D exchange exchange business card. Okay, now uh, let us read it. Uh, let me put the letter right here. I'm going to give you a hint in order that you can keep in mind. Para que se acuerden. 
Vamos a ponerle aquí una letter T. Y en este, also we are going to put the letter T. And this one is going to be ID. And this one is the same like this one, right? Okay, let us continue with the conversation. I'm going to read again. I make uh, this parenthesis in order to explain you how you are going to uh, produce the sound of this, okay? Did you enjoy the, the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I, I exchanged business card with 10 people. Oh, son. Okay. I need to volunteer who wants to practice this conversation right here. Come on, you can do it. Just let me know. Me, teacher. Okay, Gabriela and someone else. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do uh, it. Me, teacher. Okay, Carlos. Carlos and Gabriela. Carlos is going to be Luis and Gabi is going to be Janet. Okay, here we go. Okay. Did, did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned, learned, learned a lot. Tell me more. I update. ¿Cómo dijimos que se iba a pronunciar ahí? Just tell update. Me. Update. I updated my new my networking skill. I learned to more from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make the new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to do it? Alguien más? Alguien más? In a hurry, please. Volunteer who wants to do it? Okay, uh, Sergio Adolfo, con quien veamos. Somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Go ahead. Okay, I want to start. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. As well. Thank you. Okay, the last couple. Una pareja más y ahí nos quedamos. Okay, who wants to do it? Okay, uh, Janet. Janet needs someone in order to have this conversation. Who wants to help her? Can you ayuda, Janet? Come on, come on, you can do it. Me, teacher. Okay, Roxana, go ahead. Janet, start, Janet. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I enjoyed my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So, 
did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Let me move forward. Okay, I'm going to erase. Try to keep in mind all this role, please. Okay, let me move forward. Process the time. Well, I already I already got this uh information with you. I'm going to stop sharing. Let me take a look at the material. Okay, let us continue working uh, in the next activity that is going to be number three, pair word. Choose the answer to the question and compare with the pattern. Okay, the question is, did this Luis uh, go to a seminar? Yes, he did or no, he didn't. According to with, with the conversation, just give me the answer, please. Did Louis go to a seminar? Okay, I'm going to explain you something here too. I need that you take a look at this. And also, I need that you take a look at this too. What happened there? ¿Qué pasa ahí? Dime. That question is in simple past or in simple present? Para usted, esa pregunta está en presente simple o en pasado simple? Hola. Pasado, teacher. Okay. Simple past. Simple, simple past. past. Because it doesn't matter that the verb right here is in simple present. No nos interesa si aquí el verbo está en presente simple. But if we got did before, si tenemos el auxiliar did antes, este hace a este en tiempo pasado aunque él esté escrito en presente. ¿Se comprende esa parte? Yes. Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok, second question. Did Janet update her networking skill? Did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Give me an answer, please. Yes, she did. Okay, let us see. Let us see if it is true. Yeah, she said, I learned a lot. Okay. Okay, number... Number three, did Janet learn to go from small to a smart talk? Yes. 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 Okay, number four, did Lewis exchange business card with 10 people? Take a look at the conversation, please, and then you are going to be able to answer. No, he didn't. Ah, okay, let me go back. 
Janet is the one that exchanged business card with the people, not Louis. Okay, you are right. Hold that second. Okay. 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 No, he didn't. Okay, let me continue. I need to raise this symbols. Hold on a second, please. Okay, take a look at this. How do you use simple past sentences and yes, no question? Look at the word symbols and complete the sentences below. And I got the phone. I learned a lot. I updated my networking skill. I exchanged business card. Louis didn't attend the seminar. Louis didn't exchange business card. Okay, what we are going to do? The simple past describe past event. Use the verb in the ed d form or base form. Which one is the correct? Which one? Which according to this information. Tell me, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know that you can give me the answer. The simple past is Christ's past event. El pasado simple describe evento pasado. Use the verb, use el verbo. In the ED or B form or base form. Which one is the, is, is the right one? This one or this one? Choose one, please. ED form, teacher. Excuse me? ED form. Uh, ED form and D form, okay. Okay, let me, let me. Okay. Second, okay. Okay, what about uh, at the right side? Did you enjoy the, the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skill? Is there yes, no questions about the past with do or did? Debo de comenzar una pregunta en el pasado haciendo uso de do o de did? Did, teacher. Ah, okay. Then you are going to underline did. Next, add the subject or the verb. Después de did, ¿qué es lo que va? ¿Va el sujeto o va el verbo? The subject. subject. Ah, okay. And any other compliments uh praise. Okay, right here is very clear. Aquí está bien claro cómo puedo hacer preguntas en el pasado. Auxiliándome de did. Did you enjoy? Did you make? Did, did Janet update? Okay, take a look at the next. Next are uh, the subject or the verb. ¿Qué es lo que voy a agregar? Sujeto o verbo. Talking about this. Tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Uh, 
followed by the excuse me. Tell me. The bear teacher. Okay, the top part is this. Next, uh, at that sub the subject is this one. Después agregamos el sujeto, que en este caso sería the you. Ese es el sujeto. Follow it by the ED. ¿Será que he seguido el del ED? No, teacher. No. Verdad que se me están durmiendo. Follow it by the base form, la forma base, porque ahí ya no la necesitamos en pasado, porque ya tenemos el, el beat. And then I need the base form of the verb and any other complement phrase. Aquí está, vea, vea, vea. Iniciamos con did, después el sujeto, después la forma va a ser el verbo y el complemento. Y así hacemos la pregunta. Ok, based, uh, based on this information, uh, yeah, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. ¿Alguna pregunta que tenga, por favor, ahorita? Hola. Hola. Solamente alguien podría tomar captura y enviarla al WhatsApp para luego okay. hacer unos apuntes. Aunque esto lo tiene en el material. Oh, en el material está, ¿verdad? Yes, it is. Let, okay. me, let me show the page. It is on page number 24. Okay, teacher. Thank you. It is there. Okay, let us work in exercise number six. Complete the question below using the verb in parentheses. Let us start with the first activity. Complete the question below using the verbs in parentheses. For example, to, uh, to a, semin a seminar last month, and the verb is attend. Okay, the question is going to be, did you attend to a seminar, uh, a seminar last month? What about number two? This seminar in the verb is enjoy. What is the meaning in Spanish of enjoy? Disfrutar. Ah, okay. And how you are going to build the question? How you are going to create it? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer la pregunta? ¿Qué es lo primero que va? Dear. Ah, okay. Yes, okay. Yes. okay, 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 okay. Let me write it down for you. It's going to be this way. Did, and then? Maybe you? Did you? Did you, and we are going to add the verb. Okay, let me do something. It's gonna be in this way. Did you enjoy? Okay. Simple as that. Did you enjoy the seminar? Así, tan simple. Okay, number four. New people meet. Just tell me. Dime, dime, dime. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Did, did you meet you... new people? Did? Did you meet new people? Ah, okay. Thank you. 
el verbo no cambia porque como ya está la auxiliar ahí. Did you, did you meet new people? Okay, next one, number four. Number four. Number four, please. Come on, you can do it. Did you learn something? Did you learn? Did you learn something? Okay. I think this is something. Okay, let us number five. Number five in the convention. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Vamos, vamos. You can do it. You can do it. Teacher, uh, did you network in the convention? Uh -huh. Did you network? Did, did you network? in the convention. Okay, and the last one. The last one, please. Did you exchange business card? Okay, did you exchange? Did you exchange business card? Okay, preguntas. Just tell me, please. Let me see the time that we have now. Okay, question, question, question. Preguntas, preguntas. ¿No? Hola, hola. I don't have question, teacher. Okay, no, no question, but what about the rest of the class? No teacher. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Uh, let me see the time that we have. Okay, and right here we are going to combine with something else. Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, right here you can take a look. Take a look at this chart. I'm talking about the auxiliary. This Max play football. This is the audio auxiliary subject pair and and the rest. You know, 
did you watch the film yesterday and you are talking about the past? Y estamos hablando justamente en el pasado. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. We have WH where plus D plus subject plus pair plus complement. And the question mark at the end. Example, what did you do last weekend? I watched TV with my family. I study all Saturday afternoon. This is the order that we are going to follow. Hold on a second. Let me do something else for you. Okay, hold on a second. Let me, I'm looking for an exercise that is going to help you. Okay, I'm going to share it. You are going to resolve. Okay, here we go. Okay, let us resolve this exercise. There you are going to put in practice what we have been talking about. Okay, you got it there. Let us do it now, please. And try to remember what we already started. Okay, okay, go ahead. Do you open it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay.
Okay, as soon as you finish, let me know, please. If you have any doubt, just take a look at the picture that you got in the website group. Pay special attention to the ending of the bird. Okay. Difficult. Did you finish? No. Finish, teacher. Okay. What about your result? Difficult? Easy? Difficult? Kind of difficult, you feel it? Okay, I'm still waiting. Difficult, teacher. Gabby? It's difficult. I know it's difficult, okay. Maybe because yeah. what we need to do is just to learn by heart all the consonants uh, that belong to voiceless and voice sounds. Para que eso no suceda, tenemos que aprendernos. ¿Qué palabras son uh, voiceless y cuáles son voice? ¿Cuáles tienen vibración y cuáles no? Okay, otra cosa más es que a los que he llamado para los 10 minutos al final siempre se me van. Entonces, por favor, es necesario quedarse para la tutoría de los 10 minutos. I already told you. Okay, come on, you can do it, you can do it, right.
Okay, I need the raw your finish. Okay, you can finish later on. Okay, what can you tell me about, about this exercise? Do you consider it kind of difficult? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, what, what, what do we need in order to identify in an easy way? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que necesitamos entonces para identificar cada uno de los sonidos de la manera más rápida? Practice teacher. Excuse me? How to, pr how to pronounce teacher? Which one? The sentences, las palabras. Ah. We need to know how, how to produce a sound. That is what you are saying. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. For for identify the sound G, G, E, D. Okay. Uh, there. What you need to do is just to take a look at the at the previous word before the E, D. Lo que necesitamos es ver simplemente qué, qué letra, qué sonido es el que tengo previamente al ED. En vez de andar, I'm going to, mientras no me haya aprendido el listado, lo que puedo hacer es ver las imágenes y ver dónde está ese sonido. Y dependiendo de eso, va a decir, ah, es T o es D, o es ED. ¿Ok? Okay, you can continue if you want. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to check up uh, the attendance. Okay, America is not there, no? Okay, Carlos Amilcar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Cecilia. Manivel. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin. Alexis? No? Edwin Alfredo? Present teacher, present. Okay, Esmeralda? Esmeralda? Gabriela. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Gisela. I am here, teacher. Okay. According to my list, you are number eight. Then the 10 minutes belong to you at the end of the session. De acuerdo a mi lista, usted la número 8, el número de sesión de hoy, a usted le corresponde en los 10 minutos de la historia. I have to see at the end. ¿A, a mí? ¿O, ¿O a quién? No, Gisela. Ok, ok, Gisela. Okay. Gisela, Gisela. Okay. I don't need you, teacher. Repeat, ah. please. Hello? Repeat, please, me. 
Okay, according to my list, you are the number eight and the 10 minutes belong to you at the end of the class. De acuerdo a mi lista, usted la número ocho, a usted le corresponde este día los tres minutos de tutoría. Espero verla al final de la clase. Okay, Hector. Okay. Open the, the present teacher. The class. Okay, uh, Ingrid. Ingrid. No. Jonathan? Present. Okay. Good night, teacher. Okay, bye. Don Jose Ernesto is not here. Catherine? Paola? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Mauricio Antonio? Present, teacher. Okay, Mercedes? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Roxana Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay, Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Sergio. Present teacher. Okay, Janet. Present teacher. And Yesenia. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. ¿Quién dice? Yes, teacher. My goodness. Let, let me look your name here. I got it here. Candy Natalie Sanchez. And um, after uh, Catherine. Okay, I'm sorry. I did really sorry. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here today. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta hasta acá el día de hoy. If not, I thank you to stay with me at this time. Um, and I hope to see you uh, next Monday. Right? I see you, teacher, next okay. Monday. And don't forget to don't forget to work in activities. Good weekend. Okay, good night. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, good, good night. night. Good night. Okay, good bye. night. Finish, finish, teacher, with me, right? Hola. I am Giselle. Finish, finish the class. Yes, only uh, what what you are going to have is ten minutes to ask question. If you have question related with uh any topic, you already have a the topic. No, I'm unclear. I'm unclear the topic, right? Um, but I um, practice every um, practice in in I release my homework, but the practice and work and okay. new okay. learn new vocabulary for the very and pass and the practicing my talk about okay. and different okay conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Okay. See you good night. Good night. Okay, Yesenia, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here too. Uh, questions? Okay, in fact, uh, this topic related with ED sounds in the regular bear, sometimes it's kind of difficult because we need to learn by heart. Uh, all the sounds that belong to voice and voiceless sounds. And that way it's going to be easy for all of you in order to uh, pronounce it in the right way. Well, thank you very much and I hope to see you in the next class. Bye.